My name is Jeremy Gartner and I'm a PhD student in aeronautical engineering. I'm in my fourth year and my PhD is in aerodynamic flow control at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute at the Center for Flow Physics and Control. This project is about controlling the flow in the diffuser of an aircraft at Mach 0.7. So these diffusers are also called inlets or intakes. Inlets are basically ducts which are designed to conduct air from the outside of the airplane to the engine. This wind tunnel was designed here and assembled here and it was built in such a way that it's modular so that we can remove any part and replace it by something else. And we have basically a straight floor and a very aggressive ramp. And upstream to this ramp where we have the separation, we are using different flow control actuators that we are also designing here. Separation is something that we want to avoid because it means that some of the energy which is carried by the flow will be lost and not be used by the engine. So because we want to control the flow in an inlet, basically we are injecting flow from an external source. So we have a pressure tank which is connected until here and here we have pressure regulators and we have pressure gauges and other thermocouples and flow meters and everything can be connected to the different flow control actuators that we are using so that we'll be able to measure the mass flow ratio which is injected into the tunnel, into the flow. One of the main challenges for the industry designing drones and fighter jets is to reduce the overall size of these aircrafts, but at the same time to keep the same powerful engines which are still used. So the problem is that today the dominant parameter which defines the overall size of these aircraft is the length of the inlet. If you want to get a shorter inlet but still have the same engine, it means that you will have a large diffusion angle which will lead to separation. And this is the problem that we are addressing here. We are developing new flow control techniques to reattach the flow in a massive separation. And these results will help to design shorter inlets.